Hello friends, welcome back. In your previous video, we successfully complete our change password, right? So right now everything is work perfectly here. We successfully add some of the validation that is our profile is updated. So that is one of the basic structure for any project. Okay, so now I want to do, I want to back up this file because literally when we start another project, actually we can start it, that things from here. That is very basic, all that functionality. I have already done this shop in here. So now if you want to take a backup, like I just click as a logout. Now you can see it's on display as a user logout successful. Okay, so now I want to, do, I want to take that total file backup and that is our database. So that is our database backup. I want to do and to save it in our database. Um, everything I want to save in our exercise folder. Okay, I make it as a, one of the folder name. I simply create another folder name. I just simply name it as a start, a start backup. Okay, backup file. Um, start backup okay i simply created on the folder name as a start backup here i want to do and to save it so when you take any backup so then that will be actually two file one is the our project file right one will be our project file another will be our database file first of all i want to take that backup of our database that i have created as a website simply you have to do you have to go to that uh, export and from to the export simply click as a custom into the custom i want to make that if not exist so here i simply select that part and now i want to do and to click as a go now that will be export that excel file okay so now you see excel file is exported so now i want to do and to take it and i want to simply add that in our start backup so here i paste it so that is our website sql file great so before taking any backup i will recommend it to run three of this command so that is actually three of this command i will recommend it to run it it should be clean your cache it should be clear your cache and it should be clear your view okay so now i want to do and to run all the things so now better i want to open with the cmd and then first of all i want to run our first command as a php artisan config i simply make it as a clean okay so it may take little time so it should be clean it yeah it's clean it and i want to clear it and also after that second command i cleared the php addition cache clear and i want to make it as a view clear okay so then that will be the view clear right now everything is set so now i want to do i want to take that backup file so if you want to take it like that is our basic folder i want to do and to take as a um, add to add chip now i want to make it on the zip file because that will be zip folder and now i want to do and to click as a save so now that will be created um, our total project as a zip on the basic GIF. So friend, it may take little time, better when it will be done, then I will come back again. Here you can see friend, it's successfully created our GIF file for our basic project. So now I simply copy it, okay? I simply copy or cut it, better I cut it from to this position, that is our stdocs project one. Now I want to save it in our exercise folder. Here I want to do, I want to save it, okay? I simply paste it in particular that position. So now that is our total startup backup base. Okay, that is a backup project. So literally when we create any new project, we'll actually start it, that things from here rather than we have to actually recap it again. All the things that is very basic, all that functionality here, we successfully done this job. So now I save it. So how to take a backup your Laravel project from your local stores, I hope it's very much clear to you. So in our next video, I will work in our fondint. Okay, here right now, that is our fondint. If you want to access that fondint, that is our fondint, right? As I told you, every part will be as a dynamic. Right now for our fondint, I have already discussed about that things with you in our exercise folder. That is our project theme. That is also, that is a fondint theme. Right now, I want to, do, I want to load our fondint theme. Okay, I want to load that fondint theme in particular that area. So how can do this work in our next video? I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.